Hey, are you sleeping or just pretending? I was actually trying to until you interrupted. I'm exhausted. Uh, how are you feeling? Hot. Sweating out of places I didn't know I could. Not like a cold sweat, though, right? A any chest pains? You don't give up, do you? I'm fine, but now, People who are fine don't go and see cardiologists. Look, you, you need to tell me if something is wrong. All right. It was a panic attack. Not a heart attack. Panic. Since when do you panic? That's what I said. I don't panic. <sighs> Except I did. Okay, well, what triggered it? I mean, you did just get shot and almost killed by a sniper. I guess that could be considered anxiety inducing. That wasn't it. Okay, I, if I'm being honest with myself, I think it was Anna. Uh, I, I thought things were great with her. She's been a godsend through all of this, staying with Christopher, but I think that's what's causing the panic. And somehow we became a ready-made family, and I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. So what are you gonna do? I think I'm just gonna stick it out. And it's been the first woman I've wanted to spend this much time with since Shannon. Stick it out. It's not the way you talk about someone you're in love with. My kid loves her. Is that enough? Eddie, I have been in. I know what it's like to be in love with someone who is not all the way in. Deep down, you know it, and it hurts. It hurts worse than the truth. So if you don't want to hurt Anna, you owe it to her to be honest. This feels like a lot, man. Well, go to sleep. We need to decide right now. It's not like we're going home anytime soon.